Okay, what's up guys? It's CodeBra from codingwithcodebra.com. And today I'm gonna to show you guys how to programmatically make a scroll view. So this may look like a collection view, but it's actually a scroll view. And I'm gonna show you how to make it. Now, one thing to note, um, these like the scroll indicator, as you can see at the bottom there, that little line, that's hidden right now, but I'll show you how to fix that. But yeah, I had problems with scroll views when I first started out, annoyed me quite a bit. So um, let's start by oh, making a new project. Let me just pull this on screen. So we're gonna make an iOS app. I'm gonna call this scroll view tutorial. It's going to be storyboard language Swift. And we can create that. So if you already know the initial UI or um, no storyboard programmatic setup, you can skip a few minutes, but we're gonna change the deployment uh, version to iOS 13, come into the info in the main storyboard file base name, delete that where it says value is main. We're gonna go into application scene manifest, scene configuration, down here where it says storyboard name, main, delete that. Go under project, scroll view tutorial, and change this iOS build uh, deployment target to 13.0. You can do a command shift K to clean the build folder completely. Come into scene delegate, and I'm gonna use my autocomplete. And all it's doing is setting the root view controller of this window to view controller. I can just delete these. Okay, so I'm gonna make a new folder. I'm gonna call it supporting. I'm gonna move the view controller above it. I'm gonna delete this main storyboard. And then I'm gonna move all this stuff into the supporting folder. So come into your view controller and let's set the cell in the view did load self.view.background color equals dot system blue. Change your um, simulator to the one that you're using and run it. And if you have a blue background, the initial setup worked. All right, cool. So since I am using images, I'm going to go into my supporting and under assets, and I'm just gonna drag some images in. So I have them labeled one through five. So we're gonna go back into the view controller and get started. So I'll explain this in a minute, but the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna say private let scroll view, uh, colon UI scroll view equals curly braces. Outside of the curly braces, do parenthesis, open and close. We're gonna say let SV equals UI scroll view, initialize it, and then uh, let's say return scroll view SV. We're gonna say SV dot background color equals dot system red. Now the way that this works is we need to make a content view or a container view and add it to the scroll view. So let's just copy and paste what we just made, change it to the title private let content view of type UI view, and then change uh, let SV, just change it to let V, or you can leave it, equals UI view, and then return V. And we're gonna make the color system purple, so we know the difference between them. And this needs to be V dot background color. So the way that the scroll view with the content view works is you have the scroll view, and this will be on the view controllers view. So you add the scroll view to the view controllers view, and then you add the content view to the scroll view. And basically each edge of the content view needs to be set to each edge of the scroll view. And I think the height and width as well. Otherwise the scroll view doesn't know that it like needs to scroll and like, like what the height of the content view is. So everything needs to basically be hugging the sides and as well, so uh, in auto layout, different constraints have different priorities. So the content view's 
height and width anchor, or we're, we're just going to look at height first, uh, it needs to be less than the scroll view's height anchor. I don't really know why, to be honest, but yeah. So from that content view, we put the image, our image views or your image labels or whatever, you put those onto the content view, not the scroll view. And each of those all need to be hugging the edges. Like for example, see these lines as uh, constraints? Imagine we had constraints like this. If we don't set this bottom constraint here to the edge of the content view, it won't be scrollable and it won't work. So all these constraints need to be matching up for it all to work and all to scroll. Otherwise you're gonna have bugs. And I'll go over this as we code. So uh, below view did load, we're gonna make private func setup UI. We're gonna call that in view did load. So self dot setup UI. And I'm just gonna put my background color in there. So the first thing we need to do, we need to say self dot view dot add sub view. And we're gonna add the scroll view to the view controllers view. Then we're gonna say scroll view dot translates auto resizing mask into constraints equals false. Now I'm going to make a, we're gonna say ns layout constraint dot activate. Uh, it takes an array of constraints. So pass an array in. Uh, we're gonna say scroll view dot top anchor dot constraint equals to self dot view dot top anchor. Uh, cut that and paste it. Uh, four times. Uh, then we need scroll view dot bottom anchor, bottom anchor, and then height an uh, top anchor or leading anchor, leading anchor, trailing anchor, and trailing anchor. So if we run that, we should get a red view now. Okay, cool. So now what we need to do is we need to add that content view to the sub view. So say self dot scroll view dot add sub view. We're gonna add the content view. And we're gonna say content view dot translates auto resizing mask into constraints equals false. And then we need to set the constraints for the content view. So I'm gonna copy and paste all these constraints, format it, and I'm gonna change this to content view content view, content view, content view. So the top anchor is gonna be self.scrollview.top anchor. The bottom anchor is gonna be self.scrollview, bottom anchor. Um, leading and trailing, same thing. And if you run that, you'll notice, even though we set all those constraints, you won't actually see it because we need to set the height and the width anchor. So what we're gonna say is, content view dot width anchor dot constraint equal to scroll view dot width anchor try running that now and then we're going to copy and paste that and we're going to do that as well for the height anchor and now we should get a purple view and we do and if you take the height or probably width anchor and you make a multiplier of two it'll be two screen heights, so you'll get the scroll view. So as you can see, it's now scrollable. You can see this little um, indicator, and that works horizontally as well. So this is less important now, but we're going to go over it and come back to it later. Cut this content uh, height anchor, content view height anchor, and we're gonna come above this NS layout constraint activate, we're going to say let let h const equals and then paste that. Okay. Then we're going to say h const dot is active equals true. We're going to say h const dot priority equals ui layout priority. And we're going to set it to 50. Or it can probably be anything under either 500 or 750. And then run that, make sure it still works, and it does. So as I said before, for whatever reason, this content view 
uh, it's height anchor or probably width anchor if you're doing uh, horizontally. It needs to be less than the scroll view. Uh, scroll view is height anchor. So it doesn't make a difference right now, but it will later when we add image views, which we're gonna do now. So come to the top above, below your content view, and we're gonna make a array of image views. So we're gonna say private let image view, uh, colon array UI image view equals curly braces. After the curly braces do a, um, parenthesis, we're going to say var image views colon UI image view equals square brackets return image views. And I'm going to say 4x in one dot 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 five. We're going to say let IV equals UI image view. We're going to say iv.content mode equals dot scale aspect fill. We're going to say iv.image equals UI image. And we're going to say x dot description. So this is going to be one through five, just like how I have it in my assets. You want to do this a different way than you can. Then we're going to say image views dot append and put the image view in the array. So let's try to build that, I'm getting an error. And the reason is there should be a curly brace here. Not sure where that went. And this, this image view, it needs to be the named constructor. Okay, so come down to your setup UI function under all of this stuff. We're gonna do this on its own. We're gonna say self.view dot add sub view and we're gonna say uh we'll just say image view uh this should be plural image views uh for the array we're gonna say image views and zero so we're gonna cut and paste that so we have five of them change it one two three four okay i'm gonna comment out most of them we'll leave the zero and we're gonna do the same thing for, you know what? If you hold down option and drag like that, you can grab all of them. So we're gonna say, we're gonna cut and paste, oh, geez. Okay, cut and paste that. And then also if you have the option, uh, hold it down, you can do dot translates auto resizing mask into constraints equals false. So I'm gonna, uh, comment most of them out. And I'm just gonna use my autocomplete. So for the topmost image, we're gonna need a top anchor, a leading anchor, a trailing anchor. We don't need a bottom anchor. We need a width and a height anchor. Now, just a side note, make sure your content views width anchor is just scroll view width anchor, and same for height anchor. Make sure it's not multiplied or whatever. So I'm gonna copy this image view zero, and we're gonna put that for all of them. So the top anchor is gonna be self.contentView.top anchor, same for the leading and trailing anchor. Um, for the width anchor, that is the same thing. So self.contentView dot width anchor for the height anchor and this is just equal to not equal to constant the height anchor is 300 so i'm going to put this so i'm going to run it so we're going to uncomment number one image view one we're going to cut and paste that again we're going to hold down your option change all these to one Okay, so your top anchor is now gonna be your image views zero bottom anchor. So everything else should be fine. So uncomment two, let's do that again for two. So change all of these to two. Change this uh, bottom anchor constraint to one. 
run it and there we go. Now, one thing to note, this does look like it takes up more than one full screen, but since we haven't set the bottom anchor for the content view, so for example, let's grab this leading anchor for number two. We're gonna set the bottom anchor equals to content view bottom anchor. And if we run that, we should be able to scroll, but before we couldn't. So there, now we can scroll, even though it's lagging. So I'm gonna delete this bottom anchor and I'm quickly just gonna do it for the rest of them because it's all the same. Okay, there we go. So it's all the same. Everything except the last image needs to be set to the content view bottom anchor. So there we go. Now you'll notice that this uh, scroll indicator is hidden and that's because the image views are actually on top of the scroll view and content view, which is which is sort of strange because um, with just the content view, it doesn't hide it, but I'm not sure why it does, but I'll show you how you can fix it. So basically what you could do is on your constraints for content view, for your leading anchor, we're gonna do a constant of 10. For the trailing anchor, we're gonna do a constant of negative 10. And for the width anchor, we're gonna do a constant of negative 20. And if we run that, it should all be fine. And I think another thing we need to do in the image views, so iv.clips to bounds needs to be true. So yeah, there we go. Now we can see the scroll indicator. So one more thing, if you remove this uh, constant, if you remove this, priority, this lowering the priority, um, you're gonna start getting errors. I think it actually still does work, but it does give errors. So like this is still working, but you're getting errors and this probably isn't good. So I'll put that back and show you one more thing. Say one of the images you wanted, even some more spacing um, for a specific image, you could come to Let's do top image, so this one. And let's say trailing anchor. Let's give it spacing of negative 20. Uh, oh, oops. Constant, negative 20. And then for the width anchor, constant of negative 20. And then you'll be able to see the content view. So as you can see there, you can see the content view, the purple. So I guess the two main things to note is that the bottom anchor needs to be set. So as I showed you before, every single side needs to be set. I'm gonna test something really quickly. So I delete, I got rid of the leading and trailing anchors on this last image and just set the center X anchor with the width anchor, which we had before and it seems to still be working. So you might not even need the sides, but 100% for sure, for a vertical scroll, you need the top and the bottom anchor set. And you also, the second thing to note is that you want to set this uh, hugging priority lower for the content view height anchor than for the scroll view height anchor. So that's all I've got for you. Hopefully it was a uh, good in depth uh, and overview of the uh, UI scroll view. Hopefully you kind of understand how it works now and you can build stuff with it. So if the video helped, if you liked it, please click like. If you want more Swift videos, then please click subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, um, you can leave them below in the comment section. And besides that, thanks for watching. Peace.